Hi, this is Dave Stahl, and welcome to another episode of One on One. It's actually our late summer episode, and Chris, my partner who's usually with me, is on vacation someplace, so um, I'll just start it off here by myself. You know, you're probably enjoying the summer right now too, and so is your child that you'll be mentoring this fall. But now is the time, here in August, now is the time for you to start thinking about how you're going to start that relationship again when school begins in just a short while, maybe a month, maybe a little over that. So here's what I'd like you to do. Start thinking about your child now. In fact, I suggest maybe even sending a quick postcard or quick note in the mail. Kids love to receive mail. Actually, I do too, as long as it's not a bill. You're probably the same. But send a quick note. It doesn't have to be long. You can just say, hey, thinking about you, enjoying the summer, hope you're doing the same, look forward to seeing you real soon. So do that, make that a little, make that little contact and you'll brighten your child's day, I'm sure, when he or she receives it. But then also start planning now while you don't have the pressure of time squeezing in on you. Start thinking now about how you're going to begin your relationship here in a few weeks. And to help us do that, I'm going to try to find Chris, wherever he's on vacation. I think he's at a ballpark or something like that someplace. So Chris, we're going to find you and have you give us a few hints on starting that relationship. I'm Chris Reinsmo, and today we're going to cover two things. We're going to talk about reestablishing the relationship with your student and reestablishing the relationship with your prayer partner. I'm going to talk about how to reestablish the relationship with your student, how you can prepare for that. That's the key word of today, preparation. How can we prepare for what's coming up? And I want to talk about three G's in your relationship. The gap in the relationship with your student, the growth in your student over the summer, and maybe setting some goals with your student. Let me start with the first one, the gap. You probably haven't seen your student a lot over the summer, and if you're in a new relationship, you haven't seen him at all because you haven't even met him yet. So there's a gap there, and you're going to have to reestablish or establish the relationship. One way that you could do that is simply by taking a piece of paper and uh, folding it in fours, and then writing certain questions on here that they have to answer and you have to answer. So it might be things like your favorite food, the funnest thing you did all summer, um, just little questions that you can put in here that you can both answer to kind of reconnect with one another and know that this gap uh, that exists, especially if you're coming back into the relationship, it might not be at the place, the relationship might not be at the place it was when you ended last year and you're going to have to take some time to sort of fill that gap and reestablish the relationship or establish that relationship for the first time. The second G I want to talk about is growth. Your student uh, is not the same as they were last year. And again, even if you're starting a new relationship, they will have grown from the last school year to now, to when you're starting the relationship this fall. So we're talking about growth academically, socially, and emotionally. We want to capitalize on that growth and realize that our students are always going to be growing and changing, and we really want to still meet them where they're at. The final G I want to talk about is setting some goals. And keep in mind, if you're working with a real young, a kindergarten, first, second grader, you're going to have to explain what a goal is. Something that we're shooting for. It's, it's a process of trying to change and do something differently or better than we used to. Something real simple. Um, but we want to talk about setting goals in the relationship so that we can get that sense of accomplishment. And that may mean setting really small goals at the beginning. Maybe it's just a goal for having fun each time. Maybe it's a goal for getting some academic work done, but let's set some goals that we can reach early in the year and then as the year progresses, you're gonna be able to set some larger goals that really will, will point to a sense of accomplishment for you as the mentor and for the child. And that's a pretty neat way uh, to handle that piece of goals as you begin the relationship this fall. And now I'm gonna kick it over to Dave. And Dave, you're gonna talk about the relationship with your prayer partner. Absolutely. Your prayer partner is critical to all this. You know, rather than have me talk about it, we're going to hear from Elisa, a real prayer partner who's going to share her thoughts on what you can do now. Basically, as a prayer partner, start praying now. Meet with their mentor and ask if there are any special needs that they would like prayer for and pray with them. 
Thanks, Elisa. You know, it makes me excited to contact my prayer partner, Steve, too, just to talk about our little guy together. And wow, I am excited to start mentoring this fall. I'm sure that you are, too, because I think we both know that in the span of that hour that we get together with our kids, a little life will change. A big life will change, too. And you know, when you change a life, it's no small change.